What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. So yesterday Gabriel and I went to Costco. We haven't been in a while and we picked up a few new things that we have never tried before or seen there. So since the last vegan Costco haul I've done was maybe seven months ago, I decided I needed to show you guys what we got. All right, I'm just having some tea because we had a bit of a snowfall here in Toronto. It's April 1st tomorrow and we have a crazy snowfall. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. Most of the time when we go to Costco, I stick to like certain areas that I know have a vegan food and things that I get on the regular. But because we also went with my sister and we had time to kill and we just wanted to make like a big trip out of it, we went through some aisles that I've never been through before. So I guess the first one I'm gonna go with is this non bread. For the most part, I think non bread usually is vegan. I could be wrong. Most of the time it is anyways. This one is from Fancy Pocket Bakery and ingredients are pretty simple. It's dairy, cholesterol, and trans fat free. So one that we typically get is this cake pasta tortilla chip bag because it's enormous. We typically have friends coming in and out of our place, which I don't mind. I actually love it like that. So we always want to have a bag of chips or something and veggies that we can serve them. So that big tortilla chip bag is a staple. Another staple that we usually get is the Silver Hills bread. We got the orange one this time. This one is organic sprouted power, multi-grain, and of course, all vegan and organic. Another staple in our home is a big tub of spinach. This one is from Earthbound Farms, and we like to get our spinach organic with my fruits and veggies, absolutely organic, 100% every single time. And we use this for Buddha bowls, we use it in our smoothies, we put it in our salads for our dinners. So we were trying to look for toppings to put onto a smoothie bowls and I found this one. I've actually never bought coconut shavings like this before. It's toasted and crispy organic coconut slices. The ingredients are just organic toasted coconuts, that's it. And I love that at the top it kind of gives you uh, little examples of how you can use it in your salad, your cereal, for your cakes to like decorate. But I'm going to be using mine for my smoothie bowls. We found New Moon Kitchen Cookies. This I believe is a Toronto brand. Really good cookies. I like that they're gluten free. I'm kind of trying to stay low on the gluten a little bit just because it's been showing on my skin. Anyways, these are the Coconut Chocolate Mackies. They are peanut and nut free. Vegan, they're Baker Babe approved. They're gluten free, dairy and egg free, and school safe. The ingredients in these are really, really simple and clean, which I really love. This is 550 grams of pure chocolate and coconut cookie goodness. Moving on, another one that I've never actually tried is from this brand Eves or Ives. Everybody has their own way of saying it, so I'll say both ways to please everybody. This is Kale and Quinoa Bites. It's got three different packaging. I'm going to be splitting these with my sisters because I don't think Gabriel will eat these. He's so picky, but these look really good. And I'm just realizing that it says contains mustard, also not suitable for consumption by persons with an allergy to soy, eggs, or milk. That kind of sucks for me. That always scares me because I know that milk and eggs aren't actually in here, but it's in the same facilities where they do use that stuff. So, all right, next. They had this man with his little stand, very, very helpful. He had a bunch of pierogies and he was giving some out for people to test. And I love pierogies. So I kind of just looked through just to see. And he's like, oh, you want some? I'm like, no, I'm vegan. I have food allergies. And he's like, what are you allergic to? And I told him he has three different vegan options. It's called Pelman Foods Pierogies. It says that the ingredients are 100% natural. Fresh potatoes, wheat flour, water, onions, canola oil, roasted garlic, herbs, salt, and spices. Wow, it really is. So I ended up getting three bags. These are the roasted garlic and herbs. These are the potato with fried onion. And then these ones are the potato with mushrooms. I'm really, really excited to try those out. Maybe I'll film on what I eat in a day and have those in one of the videos. I also haven't done one of those in a while, especially with me showing you guys how I do it with my Invisalign. Maybe that will be for the following. 
I almost forgot to mention, my sister and I will be planting our veggies and putting them out on the balcony. Hopefully something happens because we don't get much sun on my side, but on her side, things grow really fast over there. So we did see some soil. It's the same brand that we used last year, and this is a big one for a really good price, so we had to jump on it. I can't pick it up, so I'm just going to show you guys right over here. And yeah, this is the one that we went with. Hopefully things work out this year because I would love, love, love to plant my own veggies. And then last but not least, garden veggie sticks. I have never tried them. My sister did and she said that they were pretty good. So I decided to go with a large bag. They're zero trans fat, zero cholesterol, vegan. And I guess they're a lot better than just having like a big bag of chips. As for the tortilla chips, that's my jam. That's something that I will never stop eating. It's also not that, that unhealthy for you. And just so good, you know? So that's it for today. Let me know down below if these are the type of videos that you want to continue seeing, maybe at another spot like Walmart. I think I've already filmed a Walmart one in the past that you guys can go and check out. But if you want to see anything more like this, please let me know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right over here. And I will see you guys at the next one. Bye.